Hello friends, this video on triangles part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. In our activity, we have seen that two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included sides in the one triangle is equal to the two angles and the included sides of the triangle. We have seen that if this angle is equal to this angle, this side is equal to this side and this angle is equal to this angle, these two triangles are congruent. Let's put something into it. This is A, B, C. Let this be D, E, F. And we have seen this using activity. Okay. And we now we have to prove it. So we have to prove that if A, B, if angle B is equal to to prove to prove triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle D, E, F. If angle B is equal to angle E, angle C is equal to angle F, and BC is equal to E. Please note angle side angle has to be angle side angle. If the corresponding pairs are equal, that means the triangle is congruent. And we have to prove it, so it will be a theorem. It is not a easy, we will have to prove for this. Let's prove this. Okay. See, a logical way of thinking is if these two triangles, these two angles are equal, this third angle will also be equal. Okay. Because angle A is 1. Angle A is 1, angle B minus angle B plus angle C. And angle B is 1. 180 degree minus angle B plus angle F. Right? These, these values are equal, this is equal, so angle A will also be equal to angle B. So if you see that in these two triangles, both angles, all these three angles are equal, but if only one side is equal, it has to be equal. That is logical. But let's try to prove it. Okay. So, so we have to prove this. So there are three cases. Okay. So one case will be the AB is equal to B. So let's see there are three cases. AB is equal to B. The second case. Where AB is greater than D, we will assume. The third case, where AB can actually be smaller than D. Right? There will be three cases. So if we prove that, then let's take case one. So in case one, if AB is equal to D, it is given, and BC is equal to E, F given, and this angle to this angle given, that, then by side angle side theorem, which or axiom, we can actually say that these triangles are fine. These triangles are congruent. Okay, so let's take case one. So case one for case one, A B is equal to B. Okay, side and then angle is angle B is equal to angle E. That is also given. Other side, B C is equal to E F. That is also given. So, therefore, triangles. Congruent by side angle side axiom. So case one is pretty easy to prove. Now we have two other cases, case B and case B. So if AB is greater than DE, there can be a point AP, let's suppose there's a point AP where AP is equal to DE. If AB is greater than DE, then we can have a point P here such that BP is equal to DE. Let P be point on BA such that BP is equal to B. Okay, so if this is greater than it is, this is greater by this MO AP. So if BP is equal to DE, then, then what we'll do, we'll talk about this line. This triangle. Why? Because in this triangle, if this side is equal to this side, this angle is given equal and BC is already equal, so let's take this side. Let's take B, B, C, and we have E, B, F. So if BP is equal to BE, that is by construction, BC is equal to EF given, and this angle is equal to this angle, that is also 
given. So, triangle ABC and triangle I'm taking this this side now ABC. Now let's take our common way PDC. And triangle DEF. They will be congruent. Why? You see, BP is equal to D. That is one. That is by construction. Angle B is equal to angle E. That is given. I'm not writing the reason. And BC is equal to EF. That is also given. So, therefore, triangle. BC is congruent to triangle DEF by same asymmetry. This is the triangle DEF. Okay. Now, if you see, seeing these triangles are congruent, the corresponding part will be equal. Okay. So, angle PCB is equal to angle D. But it is given that angle ACB is equal to angle. You see, the angle is different, right? This, see, this is, now, with this conclusion, we are saying that this is a different angle, this is a different angle, and this is a different angle. So, with this, if this is true, if this is true, the angle PCB should be equal to angle DEF, but actually angle this one should be given. Let me be the name angle one. Okay. So if this is true, angle one is equal to angle angle one is equal to angle four. But actually it is given that angle three is equal to angle four. Correct? It is given. See? Angle C is angle three is equal to angle four. So when I'm as per this angle, one is equal to angle four, but given angle three is equal to angle four, right? So since this is given and we are proving this, that means angle one and angle three should be same. So if angle one and angle three is same, that means that means this point P should coincide with angle point A. Okay. It is possible only if the point P will coincide with point A. So if point P is coinciding with point A, that means D is not equal, D is equal to BP is true, but if P is coinciding with AC, if D is equal to BP is true, but if P is coinciding with A, BP becomes what? B. So D is equal to B. That means this statement is false. B is always equal to Same thing, case 3 also if you try, same similar rational, if you try in similar rational, okay. So in this case, you will take some point uh, P here, or M here, let's say. Okay. Take some point M here, and then you can try to prove these two triangles for you, M, B, C, and D. Where MB is equal to DE is by construction. We'll take some point M. Here is assuming that AB is small. So this triangle and this is given. And this angle is also given. So these two triangles will be the same. Since this triangle will be the same, this angle will be equal to this angle. Okay. But if you see this angle now is a bigger angle. So by this angle 5 is equal to angle. By this construction. Okay, by this. But it is given that angle 1 is equal to angle 4. This is given. This is by proof. Since this is given, this is proof both are same. That means angle 1 and angle 5 both are same. That means the M should coincide with A. Right? If M should coincide with A, then our assumption that D is equal to Vm. If M should coincide with A, that becomes B. So all these three points. Actually, in all these three cases, we can prove that AB is actually equal to D. If AB is equal to actually D, then by SAS, these two triangles are congruent. Okay? 
And why is this happening? This is happening if you see as I told you that these two angles are equal then the third angle is also equal by angle sum property. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot.